Hey guys, so I am here with my part two of my high-end makeup favorites of 2015. So they're all here. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump right in because this is gonna be a doozy. Alright, so I'm gonna start off with face primers. And the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. And yes, I know a lot of people think, oh, it's just water, it does nothing. No, this like hydrates my skin. I am not a morning person, so when I spray this on my face, it just helps wake me up and just get me ready for my day. So I am totally a fan of this. And I love to use this with my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This guy right here, I feel like these two are a match made in heaven together. I use this almost every single day, no matter what foundation I'm using. It works best with a specific drugstore foundation that I will talk about in my drugstore favorites video. This is a silicone based one, so if you're not a fan of silicone based primers, it is not going to be your friend, so beware. The next primer I want to talk about is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer, and it's the matte one, basically. I like to use this in my T-zone, that's where I do tend to get oily, and a lot of times if I use this, it will keep me from like having to touch up my foundation so much there, and running and sliding and all that unfun stuff so this is a really good one if you have dry skin you probably don't want this if you have oily to combination skin like I do you will love this so this is a makeup setting spray the urban decay all-nighter makeup setting spray long-lasting this stuff is amazing oh my gosh first of all it takes away like if you have too much powder and you feel like you have like a cakey powdery face this will take away the extra excess powder that you don't want. I feel like it makes my makeup last so much longer. Even foundations that tend to like start to run and rub off and just not look as good throughout the day. I feel like this really does extend my makeup. So if you want to make your makeup last, this stuff is where it's at. Alright, so next I'm going to talk about my favorite foundation and powder. Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation. I've heard that they've reformulated since I bought this one last January, but I literally just ran out of it this past Sunday, so first of all, it lasts a really, really long time, and I have to go get another one because it's just so amazing. It is a medium coverage foundation, and it is buildable. I love mixing this with stuff. I mix it with the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I've mixed it with the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. Uh, I've mixed it with everything. Just about any foundation I have, I have mixed it, so this is awesome. You need to try this. And then also I wanted to talk about my favorite setting powder and it's the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. As it keeps it from creasing, it doesn't let it move. You can I also bake around my nose right here because I tend to get more oily and also you have natural redness so it just helps hide and conceal and set concealer that I use to hide the redness and it keeps it from getting oily. You can use this as an all over face powder. It's just perfect. Like I love it. As far as pale skin, it's awesome. I have one favorite high-end bronzer and it is the Benefit Hoola bronzer and I know there's so much hype about it on YouTube but it is literally worth the hype okay look I've hit pan on this like but anyways the reason I love this bronzer is you can use it to contour it's not too warm tone to where it is a great contouring bronzer but at the same time it's still warm enough that you can use it as a bronzer to warm up your skin and it is just amazing and also the little brush it comes with it is a dupe for the NARS Eda brush. So the NARS Eda brush is like $55 I think. So it's just the easiest thing to like sculpt up your cheekbones with or you can even use it to bronze and it's just oh I can't get enough of this bronzer. Benefit you are the bomb for making the best bronzer of all time. So the next thing our this next category of makeup I want to talk about is concealers and I have two favorite concealers of the high end and the first one is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I love this concealer because it is literally the best one to conceal my under eyes. It does not crease. If you set it with powder pretty quickly, it's the best thing ever. It does not move. I literally love this so much. I use it to highlight also. It's just a great product. The only gripe I have with it is I do not like the pump. Oh. It gives you way too much product and I end up wasting it. But the other one I wanted to talk about is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I think that's what it's called. Mine's in the shade Vanilla. And I love the fact that this one actually has a doe foot brush instead of a pump so I can apply it where I want it and I get just the right amount of product and I'm not wasting it. Same as the Pro Longwear one, it doesn't crease. It, this one though, I use it more for highlighting. I don't use this one so much to conceal and hide things or hide blemishes and whatnot. But I really do like this one. I just got this one a couple months ago and it has been like my go-to every single day. So 
it is literally becoming a favorite possibly even holy grail but I'm not gonna say that yet we'll see so I have two favorite highlighters that were my favorite this year and of course one is the Becca Cosmetics collaboration with Jaclyn Hill in Champagne Pop oh my gosh all I can say is have that on fleek it is a gorgeous color it looks great on almost every skin tone so I'm totally a fan of it I cannot wait to try their pearl highlighter because it looks amazing and then the second one I want to talk about is the Laura Mercier face illuminator in the shade discretion and oh my gosh this I feel like it did not get as much hype as it should have been like I literally love this color it's just so pretty it's kind of well hello I have another text message it's kind of similar to champagne pop to be on, like champagne pop is lighter obviously but they I feel like they're still in the same color family but I love the like design and the indentions that this one has and it doesn't go away no matter how much I use it so if I'm not using champagne pop I'm going to be wearing indiscretion and champagne pop is what I have on my today so those are my favorite high-end highlighters that I've used this year that I've been addicted to so all right so I'm going to talk about my favorite category in this video and it's lip products it is the second thing that I'm most obsessed with behind eyeshadow palettes out of makeup but anyways, the first one I want to talk about is Too Faced Melted Liquid Long Liquefied Longwear Lipstick. And mine is in the shade Melted Sugar. Alright, so I love Melted Sugar, but I can only wear it in the winter or like towards fall when I'm starting to get paler or spring when I'm still pale, you know. Because this is a really, really light new lipstick. And it will make me look like I had like really god-awful concealer lips if I have a tan at all but this is a great lipstick I love to wear it if I have like a very dramatic smoky eye and I really want to tone down the lips and I don't want to go too over the top this is what I pair with it and also I love this because it's different it's considered a liquid lipstick but it's not your average liquid lipstick it doesn't dry matte and it doesn't leave you feeling like your lips are just like dying for water in the middle of a desert like it doesn't feel like that so it's just it's a different type of liquid lipstick and I really like it so while we're on the liquid lipstick train, I'm going to stick with it. My next favorite is, I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. They're not my all-time favorite, but they are definitely in like my top five. And my favorite would definitely have to be Sad Girl. Oh my gosh, I love Sad Girl. It is just so pretty. Such a gorgeous color right there. And I love it in the wintertime. It's just such a dark, vampy, berry like tone and... Oh, I'm so in love with it. Like I wore it, started wearing it again last week and I've wanted to wear it every single day if it went with my makeup. So definitely one of my favorites. I got to talk about Kat Von D's liquid lipsticks. Definitely one of my favorites. These are my two favorites that I had. And of course the all popular Lolita that is impossible to get your hands on. I was lucky enough to at least get it in the little duos with Lolita 1 and Lolita 2. I didn't Lolita too as much because it was more orangey and too warm tone for me. But this one is just like the perfect mauve everyday shade and I just love it. Like I've wanted to wear it nonstop. And then this one is just your classic red. It's in the shade Outlaw. It is what I had on in the first part or the part one video with, of the eye products. It's what I was wearing. I love this one. I've worn it anytime that I want a classic red lip. It is the perfect thing. These are great. They don't like fade. I can wear these for like eight hours and they're not going anywhere. So if I have to touch up at all after like eating or drinking, it's just going to be like the inner rim of your lip where liquid lipsticks are more apt to like wear off. And also these are definitely in like my top three favorite li liquid lipsticks formulations. So if you haven't tried these, you so need to. Is one that I got in my Ipsy bag and I would have never thought to try this. But, or I wouldn't even know about it because I don't really keep up with the balm that much. But the balm came out with the Meat Matte Hues and their own liquid lipsticks. And these, oh my gosh, it is my favorite, 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 probably my favorite formulation. First of all, it smells like peppermint. That is just so cool. Like, it doesn't have that weird liquid lipstick. And also the peppermint kind of makes it tingly. It has like a tingling sensation when I put it on. And this is in the shade Committed. I really like this. This is also another great everyday. I don't feel like wearing a ton of makeup, so I'm just going to throw on some mascara and concealer. And I can put this on. It stays on all day. This one does not even start to fade around the like inner rim when I eat and drink. So, I mean, it's, it is awesome. And I love the little baby sizes that Ipsy sent me. Like, 
To be honest, I don't know that I'm ever going to use all of these liquid lipsticks. I feel like they're going to go bad before I use them all. So when I get these little ones, they're easier to keep in my wallet or my purse. And then, all right, I actually have a regular lipstick to talk about. I'm so proud of myself that are not all liquid lipsticks. So this year, MAC came out with a lipstick in the shade Whirl, which they have a lip pencil that's really popular. And I never tried the MAC lip liner pencil. But I can remember Jaclyn Hill talking about, or seeing Jaclyn Hill wearing Whirl in one of her Snapchats or her videos. I can't quite remember, but I just literally fell in love with that color. Like, oh my gosh, can you see this? Like, it is just such a pretty pinky, it has like pink undertones for a brown. And I'm not a huge brown person when it comes to lipstick, so I'm really surprised at how much I like it. And I've just, I love this. Like, I got really into this in September like trans it was a really good lipstick color or lip color to transition from like summer into fall kind of like September like in the south it's not really fall it's still hot like summer but it's starting to look like fall it's it's strange and I just felt like that this color was just the best shade of lip for that time because it wasn't quite I didn't feel like it was quite vamp for a time for the dark vampy warm tone lips and everything so this was just the best thing ever for me I have to mention this because of my name, Chelsea Girl XO. So, NARS re-released their amazing and wonderful shade, Chelsea Girl. Oh my gosh. I think every makeup lover was just ecstatic when they brought this back. And I was so afraid that, like, it was going to be sold out and that they weren't going to keep it. I bought three. No shame. But it's okay. This is my, this has my name in it. Like, I feel like I'm obligated to buy this. Even if I didn't like it, if it was like a weird orange color that I couldn't pull off, I feel like I would be obligated to buy it just because it has my name in it. I literally love this. As far as if I just want to wear, I don't want to wear a lipstick and I just want to throw on some gloss and my lips look glossy and I'm not wearing a lot of makeup like I've mentioned a few times. This is also another color. And come to think of it, I really have a problem with this color. Like, I really like this color a lot. I like these nudie, light, mid-tone pink colors. But yes, it is so gorgeous. Ugh. Okay, I can't get it back in there. So this is Chelsea Girl. While I'm at it, I should probably swatch all of these for you. So this is the Melted um, melted Sugar Too Faced Liquid Lipstick. And then this, it's right beside Chelsea Girl. And then I'm going to, this is committed by the Balm. And it's right here. It is on the end and I'm running out of room. So I'm going to swatch this in a very... Actually, I'm just going to go down here and swatch it. This is Lolita by Kat Von D. At the very bottom, swatched awkwardly. And then this is uh, Outlaw by Kat Von D as well. And that is an ugly swatch. I'm so sorry. I'm not good at swatching things. But yes bright red. These are my favorite lip colors. I love how they're like all in the same color family almost except for like the red and the deep berry. But these are just the colors that I was really drawn to all throughout the year and has the best formulation brand wise. So this is it. This is my favorites. So guys, this concludes the end of my high-end makeup favorites for 2015. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you tried in or use any of the products that I mentioned, please let me know in the comments below what you thought of them. And if you also know of some other high-end products that you think I should try, please leave those down below as well. I love trying new things. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!